This case can be described as being a blast from the past. If you don't recognize instantly that this is lung once again, uh, on one click of the zoom button, you could see some residual alveoli here and here and here and here, and perhaps some edematous, partly collapsed or infiltrated alveoli all around here. So now you know it's lung. But in addition, you have uh, focal areas of complete uh, lung parenchyma destruction and replacement by kind of nodules, which look like they are very much pinker in the center and have all these large looking cells at their periphery, like perhaps multinucleated giant cells. Folks, let me tell you something. This is the world's most classic granuloma right here. Perhaps a little necrotic on the inside. Totally classical multinucleated giant cells in which the nuclei are oriented at the periphery of the syncytial mass and a nice little cuffing of lymphocytes towards the outside. This is what we would like every granuloma in the world to look like. But unfortunately, it doesn't. Of course, when you get into the larger granuloma, the center of them is nothing more than granular crud in which you can't recognize any cell detail at all. This is necrotic. And grossly, if you cut through this, it would look like cheese. So that's how it got its name, caseous necrosis. So let's back up a little bit. And I'll tell you now why this is a blast from the past. Because a few generations ago, this was probably the biggest killer worldwide. This is tuberculosis. This is pulmonary tuberculosis. Uh, this is mycobacteria tuberculosis granulomas. And here are another a couple of absolutely classical granulomas. And you can see the smaller ones don't have as much necrosis as the bigger ones because they're still growing. And uh, I really don't want to have anything more to say. You know, tuberculosis uh, looked like it, we had it on the run, and then the AIDS epidemic came back, and now it's back again. Uh, and it's still a big killer worldwide. But uh, from a morphologic point of view, because this is histopathology lab, I want to tell you that if you had to search the world and find the world's most classical granuloma, this would be it, because the classical granuloma is described as chiefly macrophages or histiocytes, same term, often multinucleated syncytial giant cells like you see here, like you see here, like you see here, and often a little peripheral cuff of uh, lymphocytes towards more towards the periphery, which all these little round cells are lymphocytes along here. In addition, if they are long standing enough, you may have a little bit of fibrous tissue around them like you do here. And in addition, if they are the type of granulomas that are centrally necrotic or what we call caseating, you would tend to see more of a granularity in the center in which you can't make out much cellular outline because they are necrotic. Make a long story short, caseating granulomas anywhere in the body, anywhere in the world, are considered to be tuberculosis until proven otherwise. So if you were to do a uh, stain for acid fast bacteria within these granulomas, especially the necrotic edges, also called a zeal Nielsen stain, Z I E L. Nielsen stain, uh, you would find nice little acid fast uh, rods of M tuberculosis. Thank you very much.